All right, guys, welcome back. So let's move on down to the cheek to start with. All we have to do is go just like what we did on the um, eyelids. We need to grab a loop. So that's going to be this one. Okay. The modify and then convert um, polygon edges to curve. And then we do center pivot. Um, don't forget to delete this history. All right, I'm going to drag this guy over to the back. Control D to duplicate and drag it forward. Okay. And then we can create a ribbon. <clears throat> so that's going to be the modeling surface left. And then we can delete those two curves and leaving us just this surface. Right. And then after that, um, we can also uh, go back go back here to our uh, controller tool set, right? And then I have also put in the name already, right? That's the upper right cheek. We're creating eight joints and three controllers because this one have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight segments, right? And I need just three controllers. All right. So ribbon and base will be upper left, a uh, right cheek. We use nervous, don't keep curve. Parent to hierarchy, the parent to hierarchy will be the head joint, right? That's going to be uh, this, this guy over here. Okay, and here the create controllers. We do have the controller type to be sphere, controller radius 0.3 and connect. Okay, and then we can grab our uh, little ribbon and then just create a ribbon. Okay, all right, when that is done, then we can go grab our bending joints, these guys here. You can go find them in the, in the hierarchy here and select those guys and then the skin. We do uh, rigging skin, added influence, and add influence. All right, now we can go ahead and try to paint skin waiting and just the same old stuff, right? Let's go grab all these things. Uh, have a bunch of things I was locking. I don't quite want to mess up. I don't really want to keep them there because those guys may need to have a different weighting. Okay. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go again, grab all these cheek joints and then the geometry here. And that way I can go pen skin weighting with those two things isolated and pen skin weighting over here. Should be very simple. Just give some weighting around them. Okay. Uh, so we can start with something weak, right? Just pen over the points right beneath them, like that. And then just holding down shift and smooth out to edge out a little bit. Oops, like this, all right. So if you see what's going on, you can jump through the very end. I'm just gonna do that on all the, the joints. Not to the very end, but you know, to the end when I'm done with this. <laughs> okay. All right. Same as that. And then just a bit more here and there. Make sure, making sure that I have the middle part all controlled. All right, and when that is done, then we can go ahead and set up some controls. Uh, we can use this slider. Uh, let me grab that slider and hit up arrow button to get the top group. Control D, Shift P, and then I'm gonna rename this guy. Uh, so I'm gonna search for, let's search for the um, eyebrow, right? Middle. The replace that with the upper R cheek okay and then we apply that all right and this guy I'm gonna move it over to this side and then control D to have a copy and then we modify search and replace I'm gonna search for right and replace with left oops all right so this is going to be our controller on the other side. 
Okay. Now for those two controllers, I want them to drive some blend shapes uh, for the cheek to go up and down. So let me go ahead and create those blend shapes. All right. So isolate those two things. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the nervous, and go add a blend shape, and that's gonna be the uh, upper right cheek ribbon um, blend shapes. Okay. Add a target here. I'm gonna call this guy up. And basically, we're gonna model this guy to make it go up. Okay. All right. And the weighting may not be good enough yet, but it's good enough to do some basic blend shape creation, right? Let's click up. Maybe you drag forward a little bit. To give it some more bulging result because you're pushing the tissues that way uh, so the volume will have to be maintained by expanding up outwards all right so that's the up i'm gonna go ahead and do one more target lower down the up and name this guy down and the down will be the offset just drag these things down go forward a little bit and drag those things down and then maybe and take that to make it go back a little bit. All right, cool. So we have up and down. Okay, now when we have those two blend shapes, it's another time that we can go ahead and refine the weighting, right? So let me go grab those cheek joints and then the geometry, we go for pen skin weighting and then just gradually add some more weighting if we don't see them going towards or forming the right contour. We can gradually add some weighting over those areas. Right. Just be aware that you don't want it to add in too much because you know that the eyelids are taking control of there also. You don't want to mess that up, right? So, uh, just, you know, be a little more conservative when you're adding the weighting. Uh, we just need to form this nice arc so you don't have to really over exaggerate the weighting on the bottom. Right. And here, we can have a little bit more weighting to drag stuff with us. And smooth out to the bottom a little bit more. All right. So that's the cheek up and down blend shapes, and then refined skin weighting. And now we can go ahead and set up our control inputs. So let me right click and select blend shape node, grab the up, and put it in here. And our controller will be this guy. I'm gonna grab the translation Y and put it in here. Okay, and we're gonna use positive, positive direction, right, and connect. Now back here and grab the base shape node again and grab the down one. Okay, and put it in here and use the negative and apply connection. All right, so that's gonna be the connection we need to do. And let's go ahead and show the node joints and take a look at what we have. All right, that's the cheek movement. And then we can grab the controllers that we have and then the skin and make sure that we can also do a make follow skin. All right. We can also grab these guys, control G and call those up uh, follicle. Um, upper right cheek control follow GRP. Okay, and those can be parted to the hierarchy that we will have to organize later on. Okay. All right, so that's going to be it for this cheek part. Okay. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we could uh, uh, get those informations and mirror them to the other side so that we don't have to do the blend shape uh, again. Okay, see you next time.